Uh, probably just the opposite, Martha. You know, as a lawyer for 30 plus years, uh, this, this woman went around on media, left wing media, and said she was raped. With the lowest standard of evidence, preponderance of evidence, the jury said, no, that's not true. We do not believe you. That's that's a major, major concession. And she lost on their on her biggest claim, the rape charge. She lost with the preponderance of evidence, lowest standard. Uh, I would submit to you, Martha, that Trump supporters are looking at this case as another witch hunt. The totality of all the civil criminal cases against Donald Trump for one reason only. They don't want this man to run for president. As we stare down another Trump v. Biden presidential election season, it's hard not to wonder what Trump thinks is going to be different this time after losing in 2020, aside from being formally charged and found guilty with so many charges that it makes your head spin. And yet, a new ABC poll finds that he is seven points more likely to win in 2024 than Biden. Of course, polling these days is everything but reliable, but it does mark a remarkable shift in our politics where not only can a figure like Trump be victorious in a shocking upset out of nowhere type way, but it's possible that he may have a good chance of winning for a second time, indictments, guilty verdicts, and a insurrection aside. This time the media landscape is totally different than 2016. More people than ever spend their lives online and content creators have profited off of that addiction to the internet. There are tons of new faces making Trump more palatable and even welcomed by a far right audience. I'm sad because I thought they made up the stochastic terrorism term like for me like No, a, they, like they did. Ago. They did make it up for they did make it up for you. No, they did. I'm giving you the credit. I'm they saying did, right? I'm saying they accused me of that, <laughs> but they didn't make up the word then. Um they made up the word for you. You are the stochastic oh, so terrorist. They weren't using they weren't using that term back then. No, no, Dory, you oh, you wow. woke, you woke okay. them up to their full uh, regard. Let me clarify. But they were accusing me of that, but they didn't have a word for it yet. So that's the creator of Libs of TikTok, who amassed an unthinkable following by posting videos of random people she does not know out of context to try and get them fired. And this type of shtick is something that didn't really exist back in Trump's first campaign season. The MAGA world was rocked in 2016 by the bombshell reporting of Trump's locker room talk, and it almost completely derailed his campaign with many Republicans just days before the election saying that they could not support him. But now, now, here we are seven years later and look how far the right has fallen. Look, all of these cases boil down to Donald Trump versus the accuser. And in this case, uh, it's a zero sum game. And what Trump needs to do is to defame her a little bit more. <laughs> he needs to go after her and say this happened so long ago. This guy laughing while being completely serious about Trump needing to defame his accuser more is unfortunately indicative of the current state of our media, propping up losers who say the most egregious, ridiculous, awful things just to go viral. With Tucker Carlson's firing from Fox, networks like Newsmax are steadily rising in their audience numbers and being fed garbage like this. And with Elon Musk at the helm of Twitter, catastrophically low levels of trust in the mainstream media, and growing alternative networks that cater to our absolute worst instincts, we really do need to be prepared for another Trump victory. If you want more of my coverage on The Breakdown, stay right here. You can watch my latest video where a Fox host gets schooled on a woke product by clicking on the link in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at carojohnson917.